two plastic bottles, and an aluminum can. Hey Kyle, what are you doing? Oh, just saving the world one can at a time. Just exactly how are you saving the world with one can? I'll tell you and them right after we start the show. Let's start the show. We'll be showing you today how you can save the world by one aluminum can. Just exactly how can you save the world by one aluminum can? Well, it's not exactly just one can, but I will help you understand by taking you somewhere. Where's the, ah! Whoa, where are we? We're at the recycling and waste facility. I always wonder where all my aluminum cans went whenever I put them in the recycling bin. We're gonna find out more, but we have a GNN reporter standing by to tell us more news about the A-Team. That deserves an honorable mention. There are many clubs here at school, such as GNN, Gatorbots, and Chorus. Another club that people may not know about is the fifth grade A-Team. Uh, comprised of our fifth graders, where they compete in quiz bowl style questionings in all subject areas. The A-Team has been around for as long as the school has been open. So we study the questions and we study like the words and what the, wor the definitions are of those words. One of the things that the A team members enjoy is that the group challenges their minds. My favorite part about being on the A team is being very challenged. I liked it because it's fun and we get to learn new words that are in our economic glossary. We did very well. We finished uh, officially in second place. Now that the group is finished, this year's fourth graders can start studying so they can be a part of this exciting yet challenging team next year. I'm Lily, signing off from GNN. We got the opportunity to talk to Ms. Honor Woods, who is in charge of the facility here to find out more. Come on along and let's go find out some more information about what goes into recycling waste. That is like a storage home for all the materials, so in 20 years from today, we can have a big piece of equipment there in taking all the materials that have the potential to be reused. And they're all in one place, and we're not polluting the earth, so everything is contained here. The material comes to the material recovery facility here in Polk County. It is transferred into a larger uh, truck, and it is then taken to Tampa. The materials that have the potential to be recycled come here because not everything that is collected is recyclable. There are only certain items that can be recycled such as newspapers, cardboard, most gallon milk and juice plastics, and the most important, aluminum cans. See the sad thing is if we put things that you are not going to recycle, where, where does the end up? Where do you think all of these materials are going to end up? In the ocean. This, this is why we have so much plastic and things in the ocean. And when Items that we collect are not recycled. They end up in another country. In those countries, many of those countries do not have the same regulations we have. In the case of garbage, when it decomposes and is breaking down, it creates gases. One of the main gases that it generates is methane gas, which is a very valuable source of energy and it's transported to a facility that uh, utilizes the gas to generate electricity for approximately 12,500 homes here in Polk County. Wow, it does seem like we can make a difference by recycling our waste. And we have two teachers at our school that are building some school excitement. If you've been walking through the hallways and hearing what sounds like cheerleaders, you hear our new group here at school that's helping spread some pride. The Pride team is about 30 girls um, and we have different drummers, we have different cheerleaders and we do different cheers and we do different dances and we do different tumbling. I'm all about the Just Say No to Drug Parade. There are many things that the students enjoy about being on this team. Because it's a fun after school activity. You show leadership and um, also you can just do more things than just dancing. You can also do drumming as well. Miss Cerilla is a really fun teacher to do it with and also I love dancing. You can help spread some pride by joining in on our parade on May 9th. I'm Lauren reporting for GNN News. You know what Riley? I would be part of that team too. It's just I don't think I have the dance moves for it. What do you think? Well, I have to agree with you on that one. 
but you are good at doing your part around the world. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many bottles, newspapers, cans I've seen lying on the ground lately. If people just did their part and put it where it belongs, it would make the place around us look better. And speaking of a beautiful place, Aiden's nearby at a beautiful place where you can play and have fun. Take it away, Aiden. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at Lake Parker Park at Hernando's Landing Playground, and today I'm going to show you some of the features of this playground. Located on the north side of town, the county built a park with the help of the Rotary Club with a budget of $550,000. The Rotary Club of Lakeland, uh, very important in creating our common ground, our crown jewel, if you will, on the south side of town. Uh, they decided they also want to raise funds like they did for common ground for a beautiful park on the north side of Lakeland. And it's in our natural park, which is Lake Parker Park. It's one of our natural parks and it sits in there perfectly with the colors and everything else. So that's what makes it unique. Uh, we have two very big dual zip lines, which are very popular with the kids. There's always lines of children lined up to use those. Everyone that comes here loves it and has a lot of fun. I like it a lot. It's a lot nicer than it was. Oh, man, I had such a fun time. I hope you can come to this park and enjoy it too. Thanks, Aiden. I think I know where I'll be going this weekend. Next up, it's time to find some school news that you can use with the 411. Today is Monday, February 12th, and here is your, your, your Gator News. Today is the last day for the snowman contest. Snowman! <laughs> so turn your snowman in. Don't let your effort be wasted. This brings me to my next event, Literacy Night, which is taking place tomorrow night. This event will feature food, fun, and games. I also heard the second grade choir will be performing tomorrow, so you don't want to miss out. It's a time of year again to purchase our yearbook. Order now and save. The current price of our yearbook is $18, but if you wait until May 1st, it will be $25. I know you've been waiting to hear this, but today's lunch is going to be spaghetti, PBJ Uncrustable, and chef salad. You know what, Kyle? After our little trip, I think I'm going to have a talk with my parents tonight about not throwing these little guys in the garbage can and think twice. That's right. There's many great opportunities to save the world. And the four R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Right. Well, Gators, that about wraps up our show today. Don't forget to recycle. Well, right. I was going to say stand for the pledge, but that too. Have a great day. <laughs>